How are you guys doing? It's Brandon here with Infinite Marine. And today we're on this 36 yellow pepper. We're gonna do a complete top side detail, starting from the hatches, working all the way to the top side. The boat isn't in, in horrible condition, it just is dirty. And we're gonna take everything out of the hatches, clean it all up, and wax it for him. Okay, so we're back. We already finished the wash. Take a quick little look. Compared to what it was, the thing was dirty. We finished all the hatches already. Nice and clean. Now we're gonna go throughout the compound everything. We have to compound this, polish it, wax it, take a look. Let me show them a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go throughout, compound all this. Mm -hmm. All the way through the back. So I'm now gonna go throughout and then acetone. Acetone and compound, then polish and wax the rubber as well. These are some of the products I'm going to be using. So this we mainly use after our wash. Then we'll go out and then we'll just dry it off with the bead maker. We use G Technic coating for the no <laughs> for the leather and the fabric. We're going to use press the super cut. As a compound, we'll use the eraser before we wax. This I got so I can use uh, for the little creases on here. I'll compound, I'll go throughout and compound it. Very, very detailed process that is. Here's the acetone for the rubber rail. I use the PNC polish. Um, and then here are our pads. So today I'm gonna try out the wool pad from uh, Surehold. This is a 100% wool pad. I was using another one before, but I didn't like how it, how it finished. So I'm gonna see if I can try this one, but we usually stick to the Meguiar's um, microfiber pad, and then we'll polish with the, mic with the Meguiar's polishing pad, and then we'll finish with the Meguiar's finishing pad. Um, here are our applicators. We use dual action machines so they don't swirl as much. Obviously, you're still gonna have some type of swirling because the machine is turning at such a high RPM, but it's not as bad as a rotary for an example, you know? And then we'll double wax with insulator wax. And then, What's up guys? So we're back at it again today. Um, what is it? Three days later and a couple products more and we're back at it. So when I, when I recently updated you guys, we, were, we popped out the dual action polishers with the um, microfiber pad and all that. And we ended up running into a roadblock. The problem was that, look, I'll, just, I'll show you guys. It wasn't, um, it wasn't cutting as good as we thought. You can kind of see here, this is the rotary. It kind of looks like this. It, it just, it's still, it was still very cloudy. So we basically, we, we we put on hold the, our operation and we're back at it now. We've had to bring in the, the rotary polishers. We're using the Makita rotary polishers with uh, the wool pads. Um, and we're basically just buffing it out now. It's looking way better than it, what it was. We're going to get polishing now. probably update you guys to see the back um, I'm probably gonna record the me polishing and and buffing out this transom back here but it's pretty bad and then and then we'll and then we're, we're, we'll record polishing it and then waxing it not every boat's the same so this boat is probably what I think he said this is a 2016. So it's not an old bow, it's just the, I guess the, I don't know, whatever detailed it was detailing it before. They didn't take the right steps. 
And I usually don't like to do the, the I usually don't like to use these Makitas because they spin at such a high RPM. Like check this out. You can't, if you touch that, you'll probably get burnt. They don't stop, they don't stop spinning. They just go and go and go and go and go. So we'll do it now to buff it out really good. And then we'll polish it with the dual action and then wax it with the dual action. And then we'll probably just maintain it with um, hand waxing it. And um, that's about it. I'll probably update you guys a little bit later. So we came to the back of the boat already. And let's see if I can lay this down and show you guys a little bit on how we do it. So we have a microfiber um, pad. I'm really only gonna start using that back here because I have to get into, the, into all the little crest, crescents and stuff and then start doing that. But for now, I'm just gonna apply it to the, to the pad. And then you wanna prime your pad too. So I put a little dots and then now you just wanna prime it as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You wanna get some on the edges as much as possible. You just wanna start going. So you get on it first. We'll probably now increase it to one just to spread it around. Now that it's already done spreading, you can see how the pad has a lot and it's all primed on the, on the sides and everything. You can spin it around if you want a little bit. And then now we'll probably hit it at like 2,500, just about. But you saw me going up and down 25,000 times and then to side to side. I was really just, since this compound is um, diminishing, if you work it right, then you get it to a point where sometimes you won't have to polish. Like if you really work it good and you just you, you lightly, 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 um, you don't put too much pressure. You're not supposed to put too much pressure on these machines. If you put too much pressure, then you start creating burn marks. The problem with the bird marks is the gel coat, it doesn't, it's not good. It's just not good to do that. So you just want to really lightly just uh, compound and compound and compound and then let the compound do its job. That's So let's try, let's see if I can do this side too. Like this is what this side looks like.
We've got the, the pack, we just hit the corners. There's a little metal down here while we're at it. The metals I, I usually use on um, insulator metal wax. But since we're gonna wax the, the gutters too, we might as well just go through them and hit it with the compound real quick. Okay, so we're back four days after, and today we're gonna start, we're gonna finally start uh, waxing the boat. Um, we already ran through and compound everything. Johan's doing the rest of the polishing. He's about to finish polishing now, and then we're gonna start waxing. So then, before we start waxing, we have to start, we have to wipe everything down, make sure that all the contaminants are off. So we're gonna use Carpro Eraser, and basically it's pretty easy. What we do with the car pour eraser, we just, um, another trick I want to teach you guys, but don't be, you guys, no, okay. but you don't want to, you don't want to have these on the rack, because it starts to scratch up and down, like, your wax surface, so, you want to grab the car pour eraser, spray it down real quick, it just, it's just a light spray down, so you can just wipe it down, to make sure that all the oils from the compound and polish are off, so then when the, when you wax it, it adheres better and it lasts longer. You just want to do that throughout. It's nothing too hard, it's just a little wipe down. You want to make sure you do it to all the metals, literally everywhere. It's just a prep step. And you can do this. This, is, this isn't a detail. Anyway. makes the wax last, last longer. We're using a foam pad, the McGuire's foam pad. We're using a Surehold dual wax and polisher, and then we're gonna use insulator wax. And I like to rub everything. I like to do the rub I like to get all the carbon glass. Not as a dirty dance. I don't even worry for Today should have been that long ago. Yesterday was kind of brutal. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, so we wipe it down with the, with the alcohol base spray. Now it's time to wax. We like to use this bad boy right here. There are three pictures of it. Yeah. And then to maintain it, it's a breeze to use. Like you don't have to, you don't have to like buff it out as long. It's like super easy. You just want to dab a little bit like that on. Prep it up and you just take off. You do your rubber, you do your rubber bill and everything. All the way through. To where you where you start wiping. In the same step you can hit all your metals. All the like, surrounding pieces. That wax we literally put on every day. It's so easy to use, so easy to wipe off. It lasts a pretty long time if you take care of it right.
I think Insulator Beat Maker that combo. It's like really freaking good. Depending on how again, detailed you are, you can even use this to wax your non -stick. This client chose not to do it. But I would highly recommend it. We're using a throw hold to wax it, so you just want to hit it at like a one, maybe two. The point is just to move it around to make sure you didn't miss any spot. You want to, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. Just keep it, keep it by sections, so you can see what you're doing. Because if you were to do the whole thing, okay, sure you can do it, but you're so you're likely to miss a lot more and not do it as good as just if you were to do section by section and not half half it. Even when I'm compounding, I only like to do little sections. So I can see exactly what I'm going to do. This wax you can probably double layer like one more time. But anything other than two, you don't really do much. Sometimes I like to go out, not really reapply, but just with the same rag and just kind of dab, kind of dab it on, just wipe it. Andrew, I want you to take a moment here and uh, look at this gloss real quick, man. That shine. I hope you actually didn't listen to him. <laughs> Where's the other wax pipe? Um, 
，顺便的。Did you already use the spray? Yeah. Work. Take a closer look. So now we're gonna do the cushions. Um, I like to use something called uh, G-Technic Smart Fabric. Here, I'll show you what it does. Demonstration time. So when you're cleaning it, you just grab a rag, look at the water. Like the water is on top, it's not embedded in the surface. So when you're cleaning it, you just grab a rag and look. Done. All right, guys, we're all done. We're wrapping up now. Four days on the job. We compounded, polished, and we waxed everything. We coated all the seats, all the fiberglass, all the metals. We did all the hatches. Come take a look. From what it was before, this little bug right here. Let's see, let's make our way back. Look at the at the border. Take a look at the all the metals. And the job was pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. It took us it took us a lot more than what we what we originally what we originally thought. But I say it came out pretty nice. Well, the motors didn't come out good like I was explaining before because of the paint or whatever. But we still waxed them anyways, just to protect them. Um, we did all the all these hatches too. The bait well, look, there goes the water beating up. All the hatches. And really, that's about it. Take a look at the. Coffee. And maybe, maybe in a couple of months after I come back wash it, I'll show you guys how it holds up. Well, thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in.